Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new video. Today we will be taking a look at The Fly by Marcos Waldemar. What I think about it? Right after the intro. So guys, as you could see, or actually as you could not see, there was no performance for this one uh, in this video. There was no performance. The reason? I'm going to tell you the reason as you're seeing some little footage of the fly moving on top of the pack that I recorded. However, I did not feel really comfortable performing the whole effect. Uh, first of all, the trick to me did not really feel uh, very natural, which also had quite some effect on my performance. I didn't really perform it well. I couldn't perform it very well. Uh, other than that, I also thought that a very close-up shot at this uh, was some sort of revealing the trick, which I of course did not want to do. So because of the workings of this effect and also of course respecting the creator, I decided to have just some little footage of uh, the gimmick fly, so to say, uh, moving on top of the pack, so you get to see what this looks like. However, you won't see a full performance for this one in this video. If you want, you can check out the trailer in the description box below, or you might already have seen it. However, no performance for this one in this video. So, the fly comes in its little packaging. Inside, you get everything you need from the match uh, box to the gimmick fly and another additional gimmick. Of course, aside that, you get the link to the instructional video. The instructions very quickly actually uh, are really shot very well. The production quality regarding audio and video is great. Um, you get to learn everything you have to know to perform this effect. You get to learn different uh, variations to it. Uh, it is all done to not English. I can't remember what the language was, I believe. Uh, Spanish, but I'm not sure. However, you get to read subtitles, which are uh, pretty helpful actually. So, nothing to complain really about the instructional video. You get to learn everything you need to know to perform the fly. In my opinion, the biggest downside of this is that it is way too, too expensive. Uh, I believe it costs around 60 euros. And for what you get, and for the idea behind this, it is way, way too much. The gimmicks you get inside here are probably worth less than $3. Yeah. And you're paying 60 euros for that. So think about it twice before you get this. The trick itself does work as I've said before on camera when you're really focused on a very close up shot. Um, I really think it gives away how it is working, which also again was the reason why I didn't perform it uh, really here in this review. Um, I believe it might fool some people. I mean, I can't really imagine a lot of people really getting fooled by a real fly moving through the back. They will probably understand, yeah, it's a toy, but still, how is it like really stopping on their selected card? That's what challenges their mind, in my opinion. When it comes to the fly, I mean, you get just a single fly. It's, it looks like a very cheap thing. Uh, and that's again, one thing that I was complaining about the price. You're paying six years for it. And the only thing you get here, uh, what is like really seen by the spectators, uh, is the fly. Uh, it is. It looks pretty real, actually. Uh, maybe a little different to the flies I am really familiar with. Uh, like we have here in Austria. I'm not sure if this really uh, differs from country to country. However, we have here just like usual black like flies. Uh, the ones you get here have has like this really um, shiny green touch to it which really sticks out a little. This might, of course, turn to a problem if you decide to do the uh, ending with the real fly flying out of the matchbox. So keep that in mind too when purchasing this. Of course, from far away, it looks like a real fly is moving on top of the pack and stopping on the egg card. It might look visual. I don't like the idea behind it. The workings, 
Yeah, I have some problems with the workings too regarding uh, sometimes I had the issue that the fly was like walking backwards on it, like doing a moonwalk, which I was really not a big fan of and didn't really find a way to solve it. And one more thing, and that's a personal thing, I just don't like that this trick basically gives the image of the magician being someone who tries to catch flies and trains them to find the card. Like, I don't want the packers to think that I'm like someone who catches like flies and trains them and puts them in the matchboxes. Like that image of a magician is just not something I can accept, right? However, again, this is a personal thing. Other than that, uh, you might find it also gross uh, using a fly um, in this trick. So yeah, a few things I actually really do not like about this. When it comes to the reset time, it's very quick. It's probably five seconds, less than five seconds. Works very quickly. Of course, uh, you have to keep in mind there are like different variations. For example, the variation where you let the fly out of the matchbox at the end. I mean, if you do that, you don't have a fly anymore. So you either have to have a lot of flies in your pocket somewhere. I don't know how you want to do that or you just have to improvise and do a different ending without the real fly flying out of the matchbox. All in all, I have to say, unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I don't really am a big fan of the idea. And talking about these things, keep in mind these are personal things. Not liking the idea is not something that's gonna be the case with a lot of people. It's just my personal opinion. I don't like the fact of a fly basically doing the magic I just believe the idea of it is not very realistic to full spectators. Uh, I like the idea of a toy mouse, for example, fighting a card more entertaining because everyone knows it's a toy and it is finding a card. So the challenge is how is it doing it? But like showing a fly as a real one that finds a card, yeah, doesn't really apply to me. Other than that, I'm also not a big fan, or not a fan at all, of the price. 60 euros for something like this, for what you get, is way, way too much. This has to be a maximum of 25 euros, in my opinion. So the price is very, very bad. Um, okay, I'm not gonna say a lot about that. You probably understood it from uh, the way I'm saying it, just too much. But of course, if you like what you saw in the trailer and you really want to perform this, go ahead, do so. You can get it at testmatsobatikler.de or favorite Murphy's Magic uh, retailer. You can see the links in the description box below. The Fly by Marcus Waldemar. I'm not a big fan of it. You might be a big fan of it. Check it out if you want to. But that was my review. I'll see you next time.